All right, so a client has brought me their desktop computer to do some updates. Uh, changing out um, a 120 gigabyte solid state drive for a one terabyte solid state drive, and also swapping out a um, one terabyte hard drive with a um, one terabyte solid state drive. Just basically speeding the computer up and giving a little bit extra space. Um, it also needs to be blown out. The, uh, the cooler has um, got lots of dust in it and there's dust in it. Um, I already did the, um, the 128 to one terabyte copy um, here on my diagnostic computer. Um, used Macro Reflect and it took 21 minutes and 57 seconds. I'm going to shut this down. I'll just turn the computer off. So yeah, they're, they're down here already. Um, so this is the original. Just waiting for the computer to turn off. There we go. Let's see. So yeah, um, the original is also a, a Samsung. Um, so what I'm going to do is just uh, take out the, the original um, from this bracket, put in the replacement, and we'll put it back in the computer. And then we'll set the um, the one terabyte hard drive to uh, to transfer to the one terabyte solid state drive. And while that's happening, we will take the take the computer outside and blow the dust out of it. Sometimes you wish you had a third hand, right? Okay, so it was right through here. We'll go ahead and reconnect its power and data cable. I'm going to disconnect the data cable and power to the hard drive so that we can pull it out. Like that. And here is the new one terabyte solid state drive. All right, so we'll turn the computer back on. kind of held in with a couple of pins, the, the drive carrier um, just kind of bends and comes off. So let's do data and power. Not all computers are hot swappable like this as, as far as the drives go. Um, Sometimes when you plug a uh, drive into a computer like I just did, while it's on, it won't recognize it until you restart the computer. But this one does it fine. And plug in the other one. So this is the one terabyte solid state drive. I'll just leave it sitting right there. So, made the noise like the computer recognized it. Um, if we right click on Start and go to Device Manager, we can go up to Disk Drives. And there's the one terabyte Western Digital and the one terabyte. It's weird, it recognized it as a 860 Evo 850 gigabyte. Let's see, I have the Samsung Magician software. It's shown up correctly there, but it's it's not in device manager. In device manager, huh? I wonder if it's confused. Um, I did have one of those drives connected not long ago, but I've restarted the computer several times since then. 
Well, anyway, let's um, let's open up the Macrum Reflect software and see what it says. As long as Macrum Reflect software recognizes it correctly, we should be good to go. Let's see. Yeah, it's right here. So it's a Samsung SSD 870 Evo one terabyte. Okay, so we're going to come to the Western Digital. Right here, this is my C drive on the diagnostic computer, and down here, this is a um, uh, a Seagate two terabyte. I've actually got a couple of those, but they're in RAID mode at the moment, so they're only showing up once. Um, but I come to the one I want to uh, to clone from, which is the client's Western Digital one terabyte. I'm going to click clone this disk, select the disk to clone to, select the one terabyte Samsung. 870. I'm going to click Copy Partitions and Shrink or Extend to fit the target disk. Click Next. Next. And oh, before I do that, let's run a Command Prompt. So click Start. You type in CMD. Right click on it. Do it as administrator. I'm going to run a command on that. Uh, on that F drive. So chkdsk space forward slash F for fix space F colon for the drive letter. And what this does, it's going to scan the data on that drive and make sure it's in good order. When does the scan the file system found no problems? Okay, I don't think there's very much there. Um, so close out of that and we're good to go. If you don't run that and the, uh, the file system on the drive you're copying from isn't uh, isn't in good order, you know, it has problems with it, it uh, most likely the, uh, the clone will fail. But I'm going to click finish and run the backup now. Okay, so that's going to take probably, oh, I don't know, um, 30 minutes or so. While that's working, we're going to take the computer outside and blow some dust out of it. Okay, so basically just
All right. So that's uh, pretty well cleaned out. Whenever I do this in a video, blow dust out of a computer, there's at least one person who's down in the comments saying, oh, fail, you, you blew the dust back into the computer. Fail. Give me a break. I mean, there's so many nooks and crannies in desktop computers that you have to kind of blow one direction or the other, multiple directions, to get it all out. Thank you for coming to my tech talk. All right, it looks like it's about halfway done, 47%. So we'll just wait till it is done and we will pick things back up. Okay, it took 15 minutes, 55 seconds, and it got done. Okay, out of that. And close down. That is, that's strange. It, I don't think I've ever had that happen before, but it worked out. It's fine. Uh, it's it's most likely because I have so many different drives connected to this computer. It got confused. Um, so start, power, shut down. Right. We're going to take the solid state drive and put it in the enclosure that the hard drive was in. I need some screws to put that in. So it's the fine threaded screws that you put in two and a half inch drives. And those are fine threaded. The more coarse ones, they uh, go into three and a half inch hard drives and sometimes hold down motherboards, but not always. Now we can put that into the case, and on the other side, we will connect up the power and data cable. this up. Video cable. Let's lay this down. That's mouse, that's keyboard, and we need power. Main power on, yes it is, and power button on the front. Okay, all right, so it looks like his Amazon Music came up. Close out a couple of these things. I didn't connect it to the internet, so uh, updates for Discord will fail, but I'm going to File Explorer, switch to this PC. So we've got a C drive, which is uh, one terabyte, lots of free space, and the data E drive um, is also uh, very, uh, very spacious. It was before because the, the hard drive was a one terabyte. But if we go to right click on start and go to device manager, and then disk drives, there they are. So to Samsung SSD 870 Evo, one terabytes. Um, so that's it. Um, what I'll do is I'll ask him if he wants me to put back those drives in the computer, uh, the one terabyte hard drive and the, uh, the 128 um, gigabyte solid state drive, and maybe he has another use for them, but I kind of think he's got plenty of space and uh, no reason to put uh, old uh, drives back in the computer. Um, but yeah, so at the beginning of the video, I had already done the, um, the cloning of the 128 to the one terabyte, um, 
basically showed the same process on the uh, the one terabyte hard drive cloning to a uh, one terabyte solid state drive. We blew dust out of the computer. Um, I gave my TED talk about uh, blowing dust inside and out and how you really have to do that in order to get the computer clean. Thank you. Yeah, so the Macrium Reflect software, it's free. Um, I ran it on my diagnostic computer. But you can run it on any computer. You can even have it running on the copy of Windows that you want to clone to another drive. And as long as you have the other drive connected to the computer, the one you want to clone to, you can use the software uh, just the same as you saw me do it on my diagnostic computer. I've got lots of drive cloning videos here recently on the channel. So if you didn't find your exact um, circumstance of how you need to do a clone from one drive to another, look back in previous like. 10 or 15 videos, you'll probably find one that matches pretty damn close to what you're uh, trying to do. And you can pretty much just follow along. Right. Thanks for watching.